Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Potato. Um, we're not done with Psychic. We've got some more some more Psychic runs to play. And today we're gonna be doing Psychic plus Renegade. And I've also added the Elemento mod to this uh, pile of mods we already have installed for one very specific reason, and that is for the Lightning Revolver. Yep. Yep. Um, we're also playing with the other one that allows like um, another GMO mod that allows achievements and stuff that has items. So enemies are gonna be a little stronger. Items are a little more expensive, a little less XP gain. Enemies are a little faster, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, if you don't know what these two characters do, Psychic is a very weak early game character. You can only start with two weapons, but every time you level up, you get another weapon slot and your XP mods are reduced significantly. And you start with minus 150 XP gain, which is translates to minus 37%. And then you have Renegade which is from vanilla, of course, and you get two extra bullets in this case and they pierce. And you get more damage for every tier one item you have, which is buffed heavily with modded Bertato, but no mail weapons, which means they won't show up in the shop, which is part of the reason I'm doing this. And then damage mods are down by a lot. So we have a lot of <laughs> modifications down, but it's OK because, um, well, y you'll see, you'll see. Um, also, we look absolutely ridiculous. We're like a 90s fighting game movie, like live action adaptation. We're going to be bad at this, like the first couple waves. We I just just accept that and then we'll get to it. All right. Um, I'm not really looking for lightning bow, but I will take it for the start because we're so weak. We are looking for lightning revolver. So see what the plan is here is that we're going to have tons of lightning procs and we're just going to be raining down lightning um similar to 20 minutes till dawn the lightning build if you've seen that if you played that game it's kind of sweet that little lightning effect there um yeah we're gonna go crazy with that we just have to get to that point which shouldn't be too difficult i don't think i'm kind of inclined to take gummy berserker here and harvesting is gonna help Let's do Lightning Revolver. Power Blast Swan is pretty funny. Uh, maybe later. Scar is also quite good here. Actually, it does increase our damage. Plus, we get the XP gain. And um, we don't have a slot for another weapon anyway. Yeah, sure. Let me roll once to see what we get. All right, um, Lightning Ring's kind of insane with these weapons uh since we are like primarily an elemental lightning build here with just additional ways to apply lightning because psychic's a freaking sweet character that makes the little game the early the little game the early game a little more interesting because it's so difficult and then the late game you go kind of nuts Call this build lightning crashes. Good old depressing live song. If you've never heard it, if you've never heard it, you're probably young for this channel. I don't know. Um, so we have straight ranged scaling and then range and elemental scaling. I don't really know how much we care about that. I mean, we'll just take the range damage. It's fine. And then attack speed is big here. We're going to want a lot of it. Uh, we have two weapon slots. Lightning is, is like really expensive, unfortunately, but I'll take a bow and then um, I'll roll. I'll take head injury. It's fine. Any, basically, we want one of all of our. OK, accuracy down is kind of funny because we will miss a lot like that. So that's just going to happen. But thankfully, there's an AOE to that lightning strike. I haven't done Elemento in a while. I, it, if you haven't seen my older videos with that, you can look up in the channel. But um, I love the updated lightning build for Elemento. I say updated, but it was like months ago. But um, it used to not really do anything, but now it's thick, <laughs> as the children say. Um, but three two materials isn't bad. I'm just take. Um. 
I think I'm gonna take HP here. I don't know. Something's just telling me that's the right choice. All right, we could buy the lightning ring now. These aren't it. Ghost Taser's tempting though. Lightning bow that we can't afford. Fantastic. I guess we want infect because we are applying on hit effects. It's kind of the joke here. Toxic lightning build. Maybe we just go all in on like the elemental stuff. We'll just get whatever we find weapon wise. Cause I think we're going to end up in a spot where we have more weapon slots than we care to. Like even when we're playing the stick build and sticks were so cheap, we still like it didn't matter. Like we still couldn't buy enough sticks just cause of the way the shop is. So, you know, maybe we can take that Pyroblast one later or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I would like two armor. Let's just go ahead and get it out of the way now. Three elemental is fantastic. There's a that lightning bow we saved. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty obvious there. Flare gun's neat, but it's not really on theme. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think this is going to work really well. I think Renegade's kind of a disgusting character to just begin with. Like, he's really strong. Like, having multiple projectiles is just dumb. And there's no other way to get it in the game that I'm aware of. There might be a mod that does it. If it there is, I haven't played it. Um, Definitely not in vanilla. Which is kind of sad because I feel like that would be a really fun like legendary item to get like you just you shoot more projectiles. I, I mean, I understand how broken it is. That's why I say legendary or tier four or whatever. But yeah, um, we take life steal. That's going to be nice for uh, that is a so oh, we're just going to steal this silver bullet. This seems good. I'm gonna take this broken mouth because it's common and I'm gonna take fruit battery because it's common also. There's another lightning bow. Don't mind if I do. And then toxic sludge is pretty obvious. I'm not gonna save the torn pocket right now. You know, I was gonna like, my goal was to play all lightning revolvers, but it just hasn't panned out that way. So whatever, it's fine. Lightning bow is like the next best thing here. Watch out for big old, big old Xeno baby there. Trying to hit us with his blades. Not Xenomorphs, but I forget. I go through this all the time. The thing's from Dead Space. Exomorphs, I don't know. Some variation of... <laughs> Xenomorphs from Alien. I don't know. It's whatever. Anyway, this is working honestly quite a bit better than I expected. Like, I thought this was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be quite this strong. I was wrong. This is very wrong. Burning activates 8% faster. If this applied to Toxic, I'd be very curious. Let's take a, 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 HP there. Jeez. Sometimes words are hard. Lightning Wand. Um... Yes. <laughs> sure. Okay. Bag is obvious. Pick up. I'm going to take dynamite because it adds. Actually, is the lightning thing is explosion? I can't remember. I don't think so. That is a purple lightning wand. All right. We'll take that. It applies double electric and ugly tooth and we'll lock glasses. Items are noticeably more expensive with, uh, with GMO added. All right, well, those guys existed for a brief moment. All in lightning renegade psychic. Some type of anime character, I believe. And then for reference, the uh, the lightning pillar scales off our elemental damage, so 
that's like a whole other thing. I don't remember if it scales off of anything else. It yeah, it doesn't scale off of damage percentage. It just uh, scales off the number of stacks and it increases based on the wave you're on. And then it does scale off elemental. So our negative damage is not affecting the lightning pillar, which is kind of a nice buff. You know, it gets around the typical one downside of Renegade. I guess that's why this is going so strongly. 330. Uh, sure, take a beanie. Why not? We should probably take... Let's take the range damage. I was about to talk myself into taking the... Uh, other thing. Uh, another lightning ring? Yes. <laughs> yes, please. I don't think we have any cake or an alien tongue, so we're going to want to buy both of those as well. Oh yeah, that's that's the good stuff there. Love me some lightning characters. And this is the one right here. I don't know what's so appealing about lightning characters to me. I don't know, just... It's nice, it's fun. I was about to say, I don't think there's any Lightning Ninja in uh, Mortal Kombat. But then I was thinking, oh, I guess Raiden exists, right? But he's not a ninja, so it's kind of weird, right? I don't know. I always thought it kind of odd. Like there's a Wind God and a Lightning God, but there, where's the Fire God? All right, no turret. We take dodge. I mean, it's fine. Lifesteal is pretty good too here. Let's take the dodge. Take the elemental damage. All right, buy both of those. We already have a toxic sludge. I'm just going to skip it. Plague mask is pretty decent. A dirty duster. We're not doing poison yet. Um, again, we're going to take these for the buff. I'm going to skip battery. Hey, 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 weapons exist. That's crazy. All right, we have 11 now. That's pretty good. And we look absolutely ridiculous. Like, super, super ridiculous. Everything is just dying. Just, just immediately dying. And honestly, we don't even have like, we have 10% attack speed right now. It's not even that much. Yeah, this one's kind of busted. Although it's now, the only problem with this one is it's not gonna go into endless because I don't believe the lightning pillar scales that well and because the negative damage mods means Renegade typically doesn't scale that well. So this is more for the moment. I guess I'll take a heal totem. Why not? Richards. I am down for more weapons. More weapon. Oh, Lightning Revolver finally shows up in the shop. That's nice. And a Frost Gun. I'll, I'm going to buy that too. Actually, I'm just going to save. He well, we take Landmines. I don't have a terrified onion either. I'm gonna take that too. I'll just save the rest. So we can buy more weapons. I imagine this is a pretty good matchup for us because the spawns do basically nothing but die. Yeah, that was fairly trivial. <laughs> this oh, this is dumb. I'm saving that in, in case we need a heal, but like, I feel like the possibility of that is very, very low. This is, this is a smooth run. Zero struggles. Just, I don't know. 
I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. I think I vastly underrated, underestimated the lightning powers of the Elemental mod. Square three? Nah. Nah, that seems like... Okay, sure. <laughs> that seems like the easiest way to lose, taking that, but... But also... But also, we could just take it. Flamethrower, I'm gonna take the Frost Storm now. Keep the Lightning Wand locked by Red Bell. There's another Lightning Wand. You know what? Maybe we just buy this one and lock this one. Let's go on to the next wave. We have one Frost Gun now. For a chance of freeze. There it is, frozen. Now, if we can only get some of the synergy items that like make things explode when they're frozen. Because things aren't already exploding constantly. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is busted. Busted right in half. So question, are you guys going to be playing Starfield? Or who's looking forward to Starfield? I'm very curious. Um, we still only have one slot here. It's kind of a shame. It's like, I'm excited about it, but also... Skeptical? When you apply poison on frozen enemy, convert ice poison. I mean, like... We don't have any poison. I don't see us doing that anytime soon. Let's so wait. Baby Gecko. Nice. Baby with a beard. We don't really need it. Fertilizer. And peace will be. Sure. Sure. Like, the game feels too good to be true, right? Like, I feel like it's just going to end up being Space Skyrim and really not much else more. Which is fine, like, I'm sure everyone's gonna enjoy it once the modders get their hands on it, they're gonna save it, but like... It just doesn't seem... Like we're there yet. You're gonna end up, like, flying to planets, there's gonna be nothing there, and you'll be like, oh, well, that was fun. I guess that's just me being skeptical. Normally I'm, like, super hyped about things, but I, don't, I just have a, a bad feeling. a bad feeling about that one when in reality it's probably gonna be great and things i'm like excited for like lords of the fallen technically too looks super sweet but it's probably gonna be jank apparently armored core is insane i saw a video of uh what is this no um i saw a video of like 1v1 pvp and i don't really care about pvp anymore as a as an older gamer now, it's like, I, I could care less. Hey, it's my item that even has the link to my YouTube. I'm gonna buy it because we can. Um, These are all kind of whatever. I guess we take the alien worm. All right, what's the elite now? Well, can't see anything, but I think he's just gonna die. Yeah, that's fine. Let me get a little more life steal going on. It's the one upside of playing with uh, the GMO that has the unlocks is that I have my own item. You know, for only having one, uh, like frozen weapon, frost weapon. It's freezing a lot. I mean, I realize it is three bullets. Maybe if we get a ricochet, that would be... Oh man, a ricochet would be sweet right now. All right, game. We got, we got a tier four item literally, literally in a box right now. 
give me... Oh, hey, somebody. Uh, this item is completely busted. He hasn't made Burtito videos in a while, but... um, Dodge cap goes up, you get lifesteal for every dodge, and then lifesteal converts to dodge, and it, like, scales upon itself. It's disgusting. Um, anyways... Let's get ourselves some armor so we're safe. Let's buy a coupon. Let's buy this lightning wand. Let's just buy another lightning wand right now and target. Investments, as we found out before, is just actually kind of strong. And that's fine. Yeah, so if you get like the elusive ghost item plus you get like a bloody hand, it's just it's just over. Everything is just donezo. Because you get so much lifesteal. And then your damage scales up your lifesteal, and then you get a bunch of dodge for free, and you have 65% dodge. Which is a huge amount of damage reduction in this game. Add to that all the lifesteal. Plus we have a healing totem, I totally forgot. Like it not that it matters. I do like how we're a Plague Doctor with a green mohawk, though. Six forty-seven on fifteen is not bad. I mean, I okay. I'll take nine percent dodge. Sure. Convince me. Um, there are things here we want. And by things, I mean the entire shop. Fortunately, we can't quite afford all of it. <laughs> everything just... Everything just stopped existing. Frozen. It's my favorite part about the Elemento mod. In addition to, like, the sweet characters and the weapons is the big text over special effects happening. Especially Poison, which I believe is still misspelled in English anyway. I haven't tried it. I haven't checked in a while, but... Either way, it's pretty funny. I think. If you haven't tried Pyroblast Wand, maybe I'll grab one here at some point too. It's basically a... a wand of fireballs. Just... Pearl's a massive, massive fireball. Not that, like, crap from vanilla. <laughs> That's rude. But, like, you know, it's not a little short. It's not a firebolt. It's a it's a massive explosion. No need landmines. All right, grab this. Grab a second plague mask. Grab a scarecrow. Ritual's, like, fine, I guess. I don't know. Oh, we have 100% lifesteal now. It's kind of whatever. I almost uh, took Gentle Alien there, and that would have killed us, so that's funny. Um, Silver Bullet, I feel like we don't need it. Scared Sausage is decent. It adds burning. Don't have it yet. All right, Boiling Water, I don't think we have it. I mean, I would take it anyway, probably. I don't have room for another weapon anyway. Not that it matters, I don't think. Now, to be fair, I don't believe we're like super great against the bosses right now and our defenses aren't incredible aside from the fact that we have 100% lifesteal so like if we just get a little bit more max hp i think we'd be like a guaranteed clear but things can happen Maybe if I just, like, beelined into some enemies several times in a row, that might work. Pretty sure if I stood still, it wouldn't matter either, because... Well, we have a lot of weapons. A lot of weapons. A lot. No laser turret. Burning? Sure. Coupon? Um, hmm. Projectiles pierce. Okay. 
It didn't take much, but I was convinced. I'm gonna skip the flamethrower. Inspiration. And I'm gonna lock the scared sausage for next shop. Oh, it's this guy. Um. Oh, he can't actually do anything. He's he's too close range. He's dead. Did he get hurt there? Yeah, I should probably. When we level up, I should probably take some HP just just to be safe. Not because I'm like I'm worried about losing the run. I don't really care about losing the run, but I want to post this video and I feel like it'd be really embarrassing if we die with this build. It's we're like way too strong. I don't mind posting losses, but this is, um, <laughs> this one's a little too strong to lose with. I basically have to fall asleep at the wheel and then flip the car and then the car would have to explode. And then, um, I don't know. And then the car would have to get attacked by like bears. And then the car would have to explode again. And then maybe. Uh, Dice wand, not the time for that. Beefy's machine gun's pretty decent, but picket sign, not okay. More scared sausage, I guess. There's a lightning wand. We still have a spot for another weapon. A druid staff. You know what? I'll take it. Why not? We're gonna spawn some trees with the druid staff. Yo, shout out to Elemento Mod for having sweet items. It's been a while. I, I kind of wish it was more com uh, uh, what words compartmentalized, like uh, the Flotato stuff is. Because I love the weapons and I love the characters. Some of the items are a little much on the power scale and especially like the summons like I they're too good. Some of them are just too good. I think they're too good to have in the game and it's like just not even close to balanced. But at the same time, if you don't find that stuff and then you like turn up the difficulty, you just get run over. So it's like a weird. It's a weird dilemma. Obviously, this build, I think, could handle a lot just because of how ridiculous renegade plus lightning weapons synergize and then psychics just amplifying that i don't think we want grandma's flower pants that's kind of not it i take elemental damage um it's the last wave i guess we'll just take a gentle alien and and not a coupon I guess we want another weapon, right? Another druid staff. That's kind of like whatever. We wanted HP. This isn't it. Just tons of weapons. Okay. Nothing we want, but whatever. Oh, okay. I'm going to get this lightning ring and then this lightning bow. And I'm going to grab this helmet. And we're going to go to wave 20 and then we're going to kill the bosses very quickly. Or not very quickly, but it's okay. We're totally fine we should be totally fine yeah yeah, yeah we're good all right i'm gonna pick this up because i can and we're gonna kill him and then the run is one uh, uh thanks to lightning to the power of lightning this run brought to you by Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Uh, that was fun. These two are busted. Um, if you want to try it yourself, uh, basically any of the Elemento stuff would be good with it. Uh, Frost would basically make enemies not move. So that's pretty cool. But I like the lightning stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to do the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Helps out the algorithm. You guys know how it is. Um, really appreciate everyone watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.